Hey guys, Captain Foley back with you. Uh, I was cleaning out my basement yesterday and I found a box full of my old Star Trek game, computer game boxes. So I'm just going to give you a little, show you these and talk a little bit about each one. Uh, first of all, the one that's absent, the box from in here, is uh, Starship, or Star Trek Bridge Commander. Really good game, you get to command uh, starships. Um, online, there's a lot of patches for it. You can uh, make new ships, and it's really cool, really fun game. Uh, I, there is another box like this full of other box, boxes that I can't find at the moment, but I thought I'd show you the disc for that one anyway. Now, this is Star Trek Judgment Rights, limited CD-ROM collector's edition. And this one is... 24,930 24, of 75,000. This was just on the back. Some of the stuff it includes. Uh, it comes with a little pin that says, Yet there is method in it. Star Trek Judgment Rights. And a VHS, The City on the Edge of Forever, which is unopened and probably will remain so forever. These are just uh, special offers for some pins you can get. The Complete Judgment Right Collector's Pin Set. And first the instruction manual. This is a fun game. Very poor graphics, but it's one of the first Star Trek games, so and I've had every Star Trek game pretty much that's come out for the computer over the years. Some will be absent from this box. Like I said, there is another box downstairs that has more in it. Um, like the Next Generation game of Final Unity, I don't believe is in here. But it's an al also an excellent Star Trek game. Which I'm sure some of you might, might remember. But... Yeah, just so there's that one. Nice box, by the way. It came with the game disc, and there was also a uh, extra disc, which was a tour of the bridge, which I can't find. A lot of these discs I did not get back from my ex-wife after the divorce, because well, she's my ex-wife. Uh, here's Star Trek's captain's chair. Uh, Virtual tour of five starship bridges. You got the Voyage, Voyager, uh, the Defiant, the Excelsior, next uh, the TNG, the bridge, and um, the original series bridge. There's all the ships there. Enterprise E, D, I'll see if I can find this disc. I should put it in again. Maybe show you guys uh, some bridge tours. So here's that one. Starfleet Academy. The most anticipated 3D space sim of the year. This game was awesome. I love the cover art. It's an amazing picture. Yeah, so like Sulu, Chekhov, even uh, Captain Kirk make appearances. A lot of cool cutscenes. Um, just gonna close my door. It sounds like some kid out here is screaming. Can't really stand kids. Anyway, excellent game. Not the best graphics, but for the time they were really well done. Um, Next we got the Star Trek Encyclopedia, Reference Guide to the Future, which is outdated, although you can get some updates for it, but I don't think it's totally up to date as of now. Star Trek Armada 2, amazing game. Very fun strategy game. It's also Star Trek Armada, which is in here as well. Star Trek Pinball. 
Interplay had some great Star Trek games. Klingon, Federation, and Nemesis, which is like enemies. Here is a supplement to Starfleet Academy uh, called Chekhov's Lost Missions. Seven new missions. Oops. Uh, two new net games. So additional missions on that one. And Star Trek Armada, the first one. Still fun to play to these days, to this day, sorry. Um, Star Trek Armada 2, they actually have an update for it to bring the, the graphics up to date. Uh, it's very well done. Starfleet Command Volume 2 Empires at War, the best Star Trek game ever made, in my opinion. Based on this, the board game that me and my brother play called Starfleet Battles. There's lots of mods for this online as well. You, I had a great mod, which you could select any era of ships, original series, movies, Next Generation, Dominion War, Starships, the Star Trek Starship Creator. Don't dream it, build it. Here you get to build ships, and then you take them on little missions, etc. Not the best game, but like I said, I've got almost every Star Trek game ever made, so Starfleet Command, this is the one that started it for the Starfleet Command Volume 2. Volume 2 is much better than this one, but this is the one that got her going. And once again, it's based on Starfleet Battles, the hex, like the uh, strategic uh, game. Basically, you have hexes that you have to move your ship and do battle that way. Me and my brother still play it to this day, actually. Oh, Star Trek The Next Generation Screensaver. This is from After Dark. Awesome screensaver. Data dances. Uh, science stations. War where he tears up your screen with the bat with. Starships floating by. Bridge. Troy. Very fun. There's also an original series one of this, which I don't believe the box is in here. It would be in the other box that I'm currently missing. Here's Starfleet Command Volume 3. And you would think Volume 3 is better than Volume 2, however, it is not. This is mainly next generation ships and stuff, but the gameplay, the shielding, instead of a hex, there was a circle around you. Not very great. And I'll bring this thing to a close in a minute. Star Trek The Next Generation Interactive Technica Manual. The official Starfleet Virtual Tour. You get to go around the ship, check out things. Pretty good. Right here's Star Trek Virtual Reality Audio Clips. This is just sound effects for your computer. Instead of the generic window sounds, you could use Star Trek sounds. Uh, I also got a Star Wars one of this. Um, if we get into Star Trek or Star Wars, maybe in the next video. So that's that box. If I find the other one, I'll be sure to let you guys know. But there you have it. Some very interesting Star Trek games, which I hope you guys have played over the years because they're so much fun. If you can't find them online, if you want to buy them, a lot of them are difficult to find. Like I said, I need to replace some because I don't have my discs. I just have the boxes. But anyway, um, look for them online. Some of them are going to be the same price as they were new because they just don't go down and and price it all, they don't appreciate depreciate because they are so good. Star Trek games are just amazing, some of them. But anyway, I will let you guys go, and I will talk to you in the future.